Hey, wanna know a fun little behind the scenes fact? This little blue notebook, it's like a really bent, horrible blue notebook, um, has been the notebook that I've used for my notes for this channel since its conception. Um, <laughs> conception is a weird word to use, but that's the word I'm using. Um, so like all of these pages are filled with notes of, uh, of the previous videos that I've done. We are coming to like the last like four or five pages. It's gonna be the end of an era. Um, and it's just gonna be a book filled with like really useless like notes. Like <laughs> it's just like words. Um, and then I'm gonna have to move on to a new notebook. It's it's just crazy to me that that's happening, and I just realized it now, which is why I'm saying it in this random episode of Blue Lock. Um, also, Blue Lock fans, I'm sorry that this video is up a day late if you didn't see my like community post about it or watch the MHA videos. Basically, um, MHA had a double drop, or the dub had a double drop. And so there were two episodes in the same day. Normally I do MHA and Blue Lock on the same day, but uh, on this particular day, there were two episodes of MHA. So I put both of those episodes of MHA on that day. I pushed Blue Lock back to today. So uh, if you're a Blue Lock fan, I'm sorry that you had to wait an extra day. I apologize for that. I don't mean to pick favorites with shows, um, but MHA takes personal priority for me. Not that necessarily I enjoy it more than Blue Lock, but it kind of has more like meaning to me since I've been, you know, a huge MHA fan and it's sort of shaped a big part of my anime personality. Um, so, and also I, I get spoiled much more on MHA, uh, especially since the dub is several weeks behind. So um, I need to be caught up on that. But regardless, uh, we're getting blue lock today. Please make sure to support this video if you want my videos to uh, succeed and for me to make better videos. Best way to do that is to get new people coming to the channel and best way to do that is to support the videos. Because uh, the more you support them, the more YouTube's algorithm goes, hey, people actually like these videos and uh, people come flooding in. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited for today's blue lock episode, especially since I've waited to watch this an extra day than I normally do. So um, I'm, I'm extra excited because I've had to wait eight days instead of seven. Um, but yeah, it's been so great so far. I'm actually kind of sad at how close we are to the end of the season. I don't know what I'm gonna do without Blue Lock every single uh, week, you know? It's been such a great time. But um, yeah, we're gonna jump into this episode. This is gonna be episode 20 of Blue Lock. If you want full length reactions, they're on my Patreon account as well as exclusive reactions like Bochi the Rock. Um, but otherwise, let's get into this episode. Episode 20 of Blue Lock, here we go. Man, don't show a close up of this guy. He's creepy close up. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way they do the subtitles for that. Glam. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're gonna be getting right into the match. I'm going to scream. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, we're just gonna get some straight up soccer this episode, I think. Super Link Up Play. Holy shit, we're getting right into it. Oh my god. Oh, this is great. These two are perfect. <laughs> wow, I like how the glam guy has painted nails. Those are nice. <laughs> Sick. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think you've got a bit more than one complex. Oh, extremely. Okay, these two are matched up together. なるべく殺すぞ。誰が差別を知らねえって。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
So that means Isaki and and Bachira. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Whoa, shit. Oh, he's improved. Oh. あ、ああ、ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Whoa! That's cool! Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. He's gonna jump? Oh. <laughs> Wow, what a goal, honestly. He got a blood nose because he hit it that hard. Wow. Look at that aura, it's so cool. Oh shit. This music's amazing as well. Oh my gosh, is Nagi evolving? Uh -huh. <laughs> That was a cool little monologue from Nagi. Yeah, Rin can see through almost anything. Yes, that's good. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was going to talk about that in the discussion. Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> I love it! Mm -hmm. he's, he's keeping up with the. Uh, like, just like Isagi is. What? <laughs> that was sick! That was awesome! <laughs> oh my god, this is more amazing music. Yeah, come on. You don't. Oh, this isn't half baked, is it? <laughs> He's frustrated! <laughs> Wow, he got 98 while he was sleeping. Yeah. This show has this weird, weird phenomenon within me where it's got like a cliffhanger every episode, right? And it's like pure hype, like almost 100% of the time that it's on. And there's always evolution happening. There's always great story. And I enjoy every single second of Blue Lock. And yet... When the credits roll, I'm not disappointed. Like, okay, picture this. I'm watching a, a, another show I get super hyped for. Q, let's say, you know, um, or MHA or something. So I'm going to say Q just because Q is like a peak hype show, right? Um, it's in the middle of the match. Something crazy is going on. A, a character gets an amazing spike. And the music's swelling. It's all getting great. Incredible, incredible. I'm screaming. Everyone else in the audience is screaming. Credits. As soon as those credits hit, I go, no! Like, because I just, I just want to watch so much more. So the thing about Blue Lock is, with a lot of these episodes, when those credits hit, and I say a lot of them, not all of them. Some of them I have been like, no! But a lot of the episodes, when those credits hit, I am fully satisfied. Like, I'm just like, Okay, this is amazing. I can't wait for what happens next. I need a week. <laughs> I need a week to, like, let the, this adrenaline wear off. Because it is it is so much hype that I just feel like I've had my fill. You know, it's like you go to an incredible restaurant. It's your favorite restaurant in the world. It's got your favorite food. You have the meal. You eat it until you just can't eat anymore. And it's like, I, that tasted amazing. I'm happy. I can go home now. You know, like I, you can bring out a hundred more of those. I'm not going to eat it. 
I'm just like, but that was the most amazing move I've ever had in my life. I can't have any more. That's what blue lock feels like to me. It's like, that was incredible. I'm done. I'm all good. I'm going home. I'll come back here next week. Absolutely. And eat some more, but I'm, I'm full for now. So, um, that's just what it feels like to me, you know? And I don't feel like I get like, I, I don't think I've experienced that with a show that was this hype before. It's, it's incredible. Um, I just want to say the music in this episode, I don't, I think if you watch my videos, I don't generally notice the music super heavily, you know? I, I, I love me some good music, um, but a lot of the time when music affects me, it affects me subconsciously. Like, I I will only realize on a rewatch that the music was part of the reason that I was, like, feeling it, you know? Um, I think on my first watch of, like, My Hero, because uh, obviously My Hero has You Say Run, right? Which... Uh, it's, it's a big meme, like, you say run goes with everything, and it's, like, a super intense, awesome hype song, right? Um, it's an incredible song. On my whole first, uh, watch of MHA, I didn't really, like, pick up that that was, like, an incredible song, but I, I knew every scene that had you say run in it, I was like, oh, this is amazing, you know? But I didn't, like, put two and two together. Um, but with this episode, there were three instances where I was watching a scene, I was like, this scene is great, and I was like, Oh my god, this music is awesome. And like the first and main one was Rin's theme, which was like a weird like uh, opera, like <laughs> orchestra. Like it was this really weird out of nowhere, just this like, oh, and it was like that absolutely made the scene. And it made Rin's movements and everything he was doing feel epic. And I mean, I don't just mean epic in a, oh, that was epic, bro, like a, you know, modern internet slang. I mean, it made it feel like an epic, like a, a, you know, intense saga. <laughs> it was incredible. I really, really like it. I, I think Rin is such a cool character. I think when he first showed up, right, and he kicked the ball and then kicked the other ball and the balls hit each other in midair, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then, you know, we learned a bit more about him and he's just like this guy. He's a, he's a, a pretty stereotypical uh, sort of personality to him in terms of like an anime villain or anime rival type deal. Um, I don't think there's anything necessarily special about his personality. And yet, it's the execution of it, and also just the way they uh, animate his uh, movements and his auras, and the way, uh, like the way he plays, it really feels like incredible. Like he is inevitable. You know, he's like Thanos, <laughs> where it's like we, I, I just know, like. If it's the best play, he's gonna do it, you know? It's really, really cool to watch. And they've set his personality up in a, such a satisfying way that, like, I don't hate him, but I want to see him get crushed. Sometimes I'll, I'll hate a character and want to see them get crushed because I hate them so much. But, um, but in this instance, I don't hate him. Uh, I actually quite like him. And there's a part of me that wants to see him, you know, happy or like start to grow uh, in a person in personality, start to be friends with them. But for now, I don't need any of that. I just want to see him get crushed by Usagi. You know, I just want to see him lose. I really just want to watch this man lose. Oh, uh, can you feel that I'm hyped up? It's 3:21 a.m. and I'm I'm the most energetic I've been all day. This is incredible. Um. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, anyway, I, I, I liked Nagi's evolution this episode, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, there's not much else for me to say. It was a great episode, but I think everything that I was excited about, you can see in the reaction. Like, there's nothing, nothing extra to discuss. Um, a lot of the stuff that happened in this episode was, like, soccer strategy. But I'll, I'll, I'll just reiterate, the auras that they're animating in this show, I think it's some of the best auras I've ever seen in anime. I've seen a lot of anime with auras to them. I actually am kind of iffy on auras sometimes in shows, you know? Like, if it's just, like... Like, I love Hunter x Hunter. 
I absolutely adore Hunter Hunter. I think Hunter 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 is great. Um, for the most part, in Hunter Hunter, the auras uh, don't like inspire me. You know, a lot of the time it is kind of just like you can you can see that people's you know aura is like, oh wow, he has more of a like a bigger line than the other people. Um, so of course his aura is bigger and better and I feel like that's how it was in like Dragon Ball Z and stuff But I mean, it's been a long time since I saw Dragon Ball Z and I've never seen it like properly I only watched like the occasional episode when I was a kid, but I feel like it was that like, kind of that way as well um, I will say Hunter Hunter got more creative towards like the end of the show um, Like in the Chimera Ant arc there were like some uh, some more interesting aura stuff going on And that's when it started getting really cool, but um in this show it's like everyone's aura feels different and interesting and like iconic you know it everyone's aura it's amazing i love how rins it, like a lot of rins is like a bubble around him you know he's got that water it's like it's like demon slayer you know how demon slayer their all their sword styles have different like effects coming off of them that's really cool as well but in this show it's like yeah the, these auras around them um all have these distinct feelings to them and they deliver information to you like what moves they're using and stuff they don't have to say it or even show it they just have to show the aura and you know what happened it's amazing it's really really impressive and i I mean that on such a deep level, how like technically impressed I am with that sort of visual storytelling. It's amazing. Like I don't even know how I would conceive of it. I, I think also like from me as, you know, I'm more of a writer. Um, I'm definitely not an artist in any way. So when, and <laughs> I'm definitely not like a visual artist in any way. So when there's like visual artistry like that, that is serving the storytelling so well, it kind of, like goes beyond my understanding because I only think of ways to express this sort of story through dialogue um, and yet they express it just visually and it just blows my mind anyway that's blue lock that was a passionate discussion if I've ever seen one so thank you very much for watching please make sure to like the video comment down below subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed my video it really helps me out it helps other people find my channel um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on Blue Lock as well, your thoughts on the episode, all that stuff uh, can really help me just feel good and feel happy and I get to read comments, it's great. Um, and my Patreon account has full length early access and exclusive videos like Bochi the Rock reactions on there right now, go check it out. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, goodbye.